Early this spring, Nature Change joined an eighth grade science class walking out into the frigid wind down the Tart Trail and into the open parklands behind Traverse City West Middle School. These young citizen scientists were out in the field to hear directly from the natural resource experts about human impacts on the Kids Creek watershed and the Buffalo Ridge area visible along the Tark Trail. Science teacher Tara Din Herder is guiding her students on a voyage of discovery about the natural sciences and human impacts on our environment. And these students are sharing what they learn through a community service project. Uh, watersheds are a benchmark in our um, state curriculum. So teaching the students about where water is located, you know, how uh, it affects us, how we affect the groundwater, the water around us, all of that is something that uh, we're supposed to teach. So um, creating some informative signage that could be posted along our campus uh, would benefit all parties. With the goal of creating permanent interpretive signage as lessons for the whole community, Den Herder asked the Grand Traverse Stewardship Initiative to help organize the project and provide access to experts. Here's Michelle Handke, the coordinator of the Grand Traverse Stewardship Initiative. The students for this project are working, they're creating signage for along the Buffalo Ridge Trail and the Kids Creek Trails that are located near um, Coles, the Great Wolf Lodge, West Middle School, and the YMCA. And so there are many different properties owners that are involved with that kind of project. And then it's very important that we aren't having students just do projects or create signs just to do it. They're doing it for a purpose. They're meeting a need. And so that's where they sit down with those partners and they, they talk to them and figure out what is the need for that area. Ultimately, the students divided into four groups to design and create four attractive educational signs under the guidance of experts from the Grand Traverse Conservation District Northwest Michigan Invasive Species Network, and the Tart Trails. Right away, having community partners and knowing that there's going to be a larger audience increases their engagement. Uh, it, it's highly motivating for the students to know that their work will um, be a legacy. You know, they're way more tied into how their actions are affecting the water that's around us and what can be done. You know, what are some possibilities? What are some responsible ways to steward the water in our area? The students, for instance, love the idea of biocontrol. Nature Change asked a number of the students about their group projects during one of the work sessions. We asked Isaac Hyatt why the class designed an interpretive sign about invasive species. I don't want them to wipe out our native species. Our, this, this is their home. And um, like purple loose strife, it came here in the 1800s as part of the nursery trade because it was such a pretty flower. But, you know, it, it grows so fast, and it, like faster than any other, not any other, uh, Phragmites actually grows faster than any other um, wetland plant, I believe. And, um, you know, it's invasive and it, it doesn't, uh, purple loosestrife doesn't provide good shelter or food source for any of our native species. Sierra Craner, Aaron Ward, and their group of students worked on a sign that will provide historical context about the buffalo farm once run by the Olson family. We actually talked to a representative and from the Olson Foundation and she talked to Jerry Olson. So she said that their motto they like to go by is helping others help themselves. So I think that our sign and many of the signs portrayed that a little bit, like helping, you know, getting outside and helping the environment and recreation and stuff. Here are Mackenzie Westrick and Amalia Gaines explaining what will be on the history sign. And we are like doing the history. Um, so we're saying like how they founded the farm and how it was run and how it uh, created and like changed part of our community here. We asked Lainey Trubiroja and Ansi D about their group's goals for this project. Our goal is for people to just be more aware of their natural surroundings and how they're affecting it and how it's affecting them. And, and just getting more aware of what's happening with our ecosystems and like all the habitat loss and the invasive species and the reoccurring problems that we can help prevent. We also asked many of the students what sorts of things they were learning. 
hopefully, um, if you saw our sign, you would walk away with a better understanding of invasive species and um, some of the things we're doing to get them under control with biocontrol beetles, uh, Gallerocella calmariens calmariensis, sorry, and Gallerocella pacilla. They are part of um, a biocontrol to get purple loosestrife under control. I would say how much wildlife there is within Traverse City, like the different species that grow here. I wouldn't have guessed how many that like we can find in like everyday trails or just around the town. Yeah, and I would say how diverse like our ecosystems are and that I never thought Traverse City was like urbanized, but how like our buildings have broken up natural things. We've been working so hard on this project over the past few months and it's something that we've devoted our time and our research into and I think that once it's finally out there we'll really feel that rush of accomplishment yeah. of we did this, we made this, this is, this is where the reason this is here. Mm -hmm.